How to promote your OnlyFans account on Facebook. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing an educational video for you so you can learn how to grow your OnlyFans business on the Facebook platform. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. There is so much content coming for you guys. And if you need any services on OnlyFans, for guaranteed fans promotion, Twitter management, Reddit management services, coaching, reach out to me on Instagram, I can help you out. So Facebook, a lot of my clients kind of don't wanna do Facebook because just like everyone else, we all kind of have a lot of people that we know on Facebook. For myself, it's literally like my aunts, um, you know, that are in Greece and my cousins in the US. So there's definitely a lot of people on Facebook and personal people. So this is something that you're gonna have to decide if you want to use, but you can absolutely still, absolutely, excuse me, still do Facebook anonymously if that is something that you wanted to do but you will have to manually go and block the people that you wouldn't want to find you or you'd have to be a faceless content creator. With that being said, with some of the tips that I am going to be giving you in this video, so make sure you stay all the way till the end so you can get all the information, you can be able to promote your OF without having to really market it to your your friends or your family or anything if you use especially one of the techniques that i'm going to go over in this video so definitely do not worry about that but if you aren't worried about your family members then you really want to make sure that you are optimizing your facebook page or you open up a fan page or a content creator page for your business you are going to make sure that your link is in your bio. And the biggest thing that I always say to all of my clients is making sure your link is working. I cannot tell you how many of my clients, when I go and I do a page audit for them, the first thing I'll do is boop, click on that link and I fall onto dead links so many times because no one is taking that extra two seconds of their time to make sure that their business is optimized as well as it should be so that is definitely something that I always harp on in these videos and to my clients so if you're using a third-party link not just clicking on your third-party link and okay it works no now go into that link and click every other single link in there to make sure that it is directing you to where you would want your potential followers and viewers to click on to so you can convert them into paying subscribers. With your profile picture and your banner, you do not want to put anything spicy at all in those two pictures. What I always recommend though is still making sure that the content is enticing, it has good lighting, it's centered correctly, but it cannot be spicy. The same thing with the content that you put on the platform. Now I am going to say that I have found other models that have put extremely spicy content on the platform and they do not get flagged. I don't know how that even happens. Um, you know, I remember I made a comment in just one of my family members posts and the way I typed it, it was typing it in English letters, like, but trying to speak it in Greek. I don't know if that really makes sense. Um, but basically that, that comment got flagged. And I was thinking to myself, how are all of these other models getting away with what they're getting away with? If I just get flagged for writing, like misspelling a word in another language using the English alphabet. Anyways, you get my point. For you to just make sure that you are always going to have your account in a good standing, you are going to follow the best practices. It doesn't matter what any other model is doing on the platform. Now into content. So I already said about how your content is not gonna be too spicy at all. You can also reuse your TikToks. If you have seen my TikTok video or if you've seen my Instagram video, you can also reuse your TikToks and the reels that you made on Instagram 
to repurpose them onto Facebook. So it's a lot easier for you to stay on all of these platforms without getting burnt out. But Reels is really where it's at right now on every single platform. So I urge you to always be posting Reels and you should be posting at least every single day. Now you don't need to post as many Reels on Facebook as I have recommended on TikTok or on Instagram, but you at least should be consistently posting one reel every single day. If you could bump it up to two to five reels on your Facebook page, that would really make a difference. But the biggest factor of all of that is being consistent. So if you feel like two to five is too much for you, you're going to get overwhelmed and then just give up completely. I always advise my clients then just do one a day. So that way we can keep you consistent and get you nicely onto the algorithm. So you are pushed in front of more viewers. Now with regular posts, you can just do regular bikini pictures, but they have to be in front of an actual pool or a beach because those might get flagged. I've had clients reach out to me and they're like, I don't know why my, my post got flagged and then I'll see it and they're in like a micro bikini on a bed. So you have to kind of make it make sense in a sense, right? To to where you're not going to get picked up or flagged for what you know you're posting on the platform if it is something that is of um, a natural kind of nature right another thing is hashtags you have to make sure that you are doing hashtag research if you want to use hashtags i always tell my clients that you have to make sure that you are doing research on banned hashtags or flagged hashtags because there is hashtags that they actually track and if specific accounts are using them they will shadow ban them or they will just literally ban them so make sure that you are doing your research or do not use any hashtags at all and please do not use the only fans hashtag or a fansly hashtag what that's going to do is just get you so many spammers and scammers in your comments and in your DMs trying to sell you for a promotion on their 5 million follower network and it's all a scam. If you want real work, you come to me or someone that is actually legitimate and not these like weird scammy promo pages, okay? Okay, so now my little secret weapon tip that I use, I've used, and my clients use and get amazing results. And this is what will help you keep your kind of OnlyFans business uh, secretly, anonymously on Facebook from any of your family or relatives if you do not want to make a separate page or be really promoting it like that. It is Facebook groups. This is the best way to get yourself in front of a larger audience without even having to post, without posting reels, without anything. Just making sure that at least your profile picture is of very good quality, super enticing, super sexy, super flirty. And in your bio, instead of having your OF link, you'll just write, yes, I have one, DM me. So that way it's very vague, but people who know about OF and there is potential customers or paying subs, they know that too, they're going to reach out to you. So with Facebook groups, what you are going to do is you are going to be following or joining Facebook groups that you think your target audience would be. An example, if you are a female model and you want to target the male audience, get into facebook groups for cars get into facebook groups for football for baseball any type of sports um fa facebook groups golf things that you know hunting things that you know that um it is a predominantly male group then what you're going to do once you join these groups is you're just going to be super active in the groups now you aren't going to spam your of link in the comments you aren't going to do anything like that all you are going to do is be very active in the comments of each post. So that way, if, you know, Joe Schmo ends up replying, you know, in a comment on a post in a sports, um, you know, in a sports group and you write back, you know, even if you really don't know about sports, but you can Google like, you know, what would be an appropriate answer or, you know, Google like what team was actually playing that night or something along those lines. And you just respond to him. Yeah, well, you know, this is what I really thought and blah, blah, blah. 
men are going to see now your profile picture and you're enticing them. Then they're going to go to your page, see in your bio that you literally have, yes, I have one. Or if you have your link there, they're going to see your link. So this is a surefire way to be able to convert and get paying subscribers on Facebook using Facebook groups. So make sure that you are very active in those comments. But again, you're not going to be spamming your link or anything. And a lot of the times what also happens is when men see women commenting, you will get flooded in the DMs from men in these groups. And now this is your chance to now give them your link and forward them to your OF page. Comment down below. We're all here to help each other out. And reach out to me again on Instagram if you need any help with my services. Until next time.